Sheikh Nassim, in defense of his WBO world title, still has something to prove. Just who is the best featherweight in the world? Naz is always explosive. Vasquez firmly believes he'll oh, beat him. Just no trouble. Chris Eubank, the original entertainer, steps up to cruiserweight to challenge Carl Thompson, the current WBO world champion. Eubank has to win this, otherwise it's the end. Just who will steal the show? Double trouble. Saturday at 9, Sky Box Office 3. But he'll be sharing the limelight with his little friend. The Prince headlines the Manchester show, and after that fracas at Heathrow, there's little love lost. He backstabbed me. That, that, you know, as far as I'm concerned, everyone can make him king for a day. When he walks by me, he should bow his head like the little man that he is. Eubank Needy showed up for the pre-fight press conference, but not everybody got along. Ian Dark watched it. Eubank Needy showed When he walks by me, he should bow his head like the little man that he is. <laughs> yes. Eubank Needy showed up for the pre-fight press conference, but not everybody got along. Ian Dark watched it. After a private jet from Cornwall, Eubank's day started normally enough. Upstairs, to change into his best-dressed man image, the usual theatrical late entrance to the press conference. And then suddenly, it all changed as the bitterness between Eubank and the Prince Nassim camp surfaced in a vitriolic exchange. Nav has backstabbed me. He has been snidey towards me, he has been underhanded towards me. And anyone who treats me like that, I don't have anything to do with, whether it's visual or from a hearing point of view. You can't do that. I was kind, I showed him kindness, I showed him friendship. Um, I tried to steer him. Um, Let me just know. jump in here. Chris no, Chris, no, no, Chris no, no. tried to nick Naz off me years ago and Naz gave him the, the rods. That's the problem. Chris, Chris Eubank come to my gym. I paid him £300 a week. Johnny Nelson stood him on his head. Errol Graham stood him on his head and he wouldn't fight him. Naz has got more talent in his little finger than he's ever had. He come up to our gym and he watched Naz jump the ropes. He watched Naz strut, strut around the place. And he went out and made a fortune, not a problem. But the Boxers Association down London, he got Naz when he was up at the top of the tree, got him to one side and tried to steal him off me. And Naz came out and, and I tell you, Eubank was lucky I didn't finish upsetting about him. I might have been 54 at the time, but he'd have been in a bleeding fight with me and you take that from me. He's a phony. Let me see who's who here. Do you, do you agree with that, Frank? What he just said? I don't know. I weren't in the court. Okay. Do you agree with what he said? No? Yeah, I agree with him. Do you agree with him? Not if I was a weaker man, if I was a more emotional yeah. man, I'd, I'd cry. You know? And, and I mean, okay, if you, you, the two of you are, well, you are a non- Right, let's, let's, you, let's you, get, this, hang on, let's, this, let's this stop on this now. This is getting this, out of hand. It's getting stupid. A question was asked, you, you yeah. answered it, and then Brent said his. He's a liar. Let's get on to the fights. Let's talk about the, the fights. Just, I mean, how do you live with yourself? You've got children. How, you know, you've got a wife. Listen, listen, you, listen, listen to me. I've seen it all before, which mm. I've had in the gym. I paid you 300 pounds a week. Johnny Nelson stood on your head. Mm. He jumped out of the ring. He went, I'm not sparring with him anymore. <laughs> I'm not sparring with him. I can't hear him. He won't box properly. I'm upset. I'm upset with that. that, that you know, There's a bit of truth to that, man, because Eubank Sr. and Nigel Benn, they both admitted that they avoided fighting Errol Graham, you know, because they couldn't hit him. Eubank Sr. said, I, I can't beat a man that I can't hit. You know what I mean? That's what he said, man. Julian Jackson knocked out Errol Graham, so there was a, a possible chance that Eubank Sr. would have knocked out Errol Graham, but his style was just too hard to fucking fight, man. So he avoided him, innit? But there's a video of like Naz, you know, watching Eubank Senior like jump over the ropes. You know, and Naz was like a little kid. And Naz was like staring at Eubank Senior when he was jumping over the ropes and strutting around. And Naz was staring at him, you know, in awe. So I think Naz might have got a bit from Eubank, man. I don't think Eubank Senior is a phony, you know. The, 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 what he's just said is, is rubbishing, is making a fool, a mockery out of someone, I'm a decent man. He's acting emotional. First and foremost, I'm decent, I don't lie, I don't cheat, 
Well, an amazing outburst, and it all brings to mind, really, the mind games that Steve Collins played on Chris Eubank ahead of their first fight, which, of course, Eubank lost. You do wonder, has all this affected the psychological balance of Eubank to save his career? It could be the real fight of the night. Once friends, now bitter enemies. I don't wish him bad. I wish him what he deserves. I don't think that's going to be good because he hasn't been good to me. You have to treat people as you find them. And so, Naz, I hope your newly wed wife gives you hell. But Naz, you're a nice guy, so is he. I am a nice guy. I'm, I'm not too sure about him, you know. I'm not too sure about him. We did used to get on. We did used to be friends before. Um, I think it got to him with all the, the fame and the money. No, that's not true, man. I was just showing you a video of Naz, like, telling Brendan to fucking back up. You know, when Brendan was in his corner. Naz was saying to Brendan, fucking move back. You know, Brendan used to tell me that the money got to Naz, and you can see it when he was having a go at him, saying, fucking move back. You know, trying to reduce his percentages. Brendan, so I, I'm a, I like Naz in it, but I think, I think money got to his head, man. There's always been competition. Naz claims he taught Eubank his acrobatic flips. Both like their toys and strive for the ultimate performance. And no two other British fighters have been such showmen. Boxing but their friendly that. rivalry took a turn for the worse on Sheffield's Full Monty show where they shared billing. Hammered won, Eubank lost, and no thanks to his little friend Cal at Zaggy. ringside who shouted support for Cal Zaggy. Then came their tete-a-tete -tete at Heathrow where punches and slaps were supposedly thrown. Yeah, now has got slapped. The airport scene what happened happened when, if any man tries to like try and slap me he's gonna get hit regardless i opened my hand to slap him i, I wouldn't punch him he's 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 five foot what two now they must perform together again the theatrics front of house may well reveal their true inner feelings behind the scenes two fighters who help coach each other and now won't even speak the cardinal sin this is fundamentally wrong you know, this is on the hand, this is slapping, this is biting the hand that feeds you. All Chris needs to do is give me the respect that I deserve, that world champion deserves. Um, that's it basically, and until he does that, then he'll probably get some back. Because you have, um, you know, it, I shouldn't really call him it, but because you have little Nazim there talking out so much, it's as though no one else existed before him. And, um, you know, I, I don't want people to forget what I've done. It's yeah, come on, man, come on. Fucking Eubank Senior would have fucked up Naz, you know, in a street fight. Eubank Senior fucked up Nigel Ben. Nigel Ben fucking blinded Gerald McLennan. Gerald McLennan knocked out fucking Julian Jackson. Julian Jackson knocked out Harold Graham. I know boxing don't really work like that, but in a fight in the streets, Eubank Senior is fucking up Nassim Hamid. 100%. Naz is small. I seen Sonny Edwards the other day, you know, you know, in town, in Sheffield, and he's so so small, he's such a little rat, a little fucking ant. I could have crushed him, Sonny Edwards. I could have fucking crushed him. But I give him the benefit of the doubt, because it's like bullying, you know, he's so small. I could have squashed him. He was trying to walk around with some big black guys. You know what I mean, boys? I seen him coming out of an alleyway with fucking blood all over his face one time, Sonny Edwards. You know what I mean? He got beat up by two little average men. And I said, you're a boxer, man. How come you're getting fucking blooded up? And he was like, oh, there was two of them. <laughs> <laughs> I've laid out two men, but he's just a little hoe, man. So yeah, fucking Eubank Senior. He's got the edge over Naz. And I think Naz did copy off some of his moves as well, to be honest. I'm a bigger fan of Naz, in it, but you know you have to give credit where it's due, man. Um, that's it basically. And until he does that, then he'll probably get some back. Because you have um, you little know, Nazim. I shouldn't really call him it, but because you have little Nazim there talking out so much, it's as though no one else existed before him. And um, you know, I, I don't want people to forget what I've done. There's going to be a lot of arguments Saturday night. Yeah. The men with the closest view will be at rings. Yeah, man. British boxing at its best, Naz, Chris Eubank Senior, you know what I mean? It's not as good anymore, is it? Fucking Joshua, that stiff fucking idiot. 
stay humble. Det är det nu.